What's up guys it is your boy Mike Hawk here and today I wanna thank you for 1000 subs. Thank you guys so much my number one goal was before the end of the year I want to hit 1000. And we hit it before half of the year. Thank you. And on to the video. Alright guys so this is part one of the series on how to get better at Blender. So first I'm gonna be showing you how to clothing. So first of all. What you want to go ahead and do is go to my Discord and then go to Resources under Dev Store and then download this rig right here. This rig will basically help with everything in the series, so it's important that you have it. Open the file. Now, what you want to do when it's open, you want to delete the face, this face right here, because I forgot to delete it, and you just want to make these parts visible so that's the first part now the second part you want to do is if you're starting with the torso which i mainly do you want to box select the arms and then hit hide or h for hide now next you go into add or shift a go under mesh and then hit plane Go to go over here to navigate, hit negative X, move around a little bit to see the plane, rotate it 90 degrees on the X axis if you're not in the X, negative X. Move it up with G to the torso. Bring these parts down on the top. Bring them to these edges right here. And then you want to add a loop cut in the middle. Box select these two vertices, hit X, and then delete vertices. Then you want to go to the modifier tab right here. And then add a mirror modifier. Now you want to enable clipping. Go to edit mode to make sure they are connected and then that's the first part then second part is you want to add a loop cut in the middle bring it up disable clipping bring these parts out so you have a v shape now go to positive x on this na navigator go here Go to X-ray, select the vertices on top, and extrude them along these edges. After that's done, you go to negative Y, then select these right here on this side, and then go into Z and extrude them along these edges. For the last one, you could just add a loop cut right here. If you have loop tools, you could just add a bridge like this. Well, I don't have loop tools on this, so you can just hit F and then add a uh, um, edge right here with J. Next, you want to go into back view and then extrude these till they connect. Next, you want to Fill in all these faces and then add three loop cuts on the side. Go hit one to go into vertex mode, hit x ray, and then move these vertices with proportional editing along the edge. To uh, you could use the shortcut O to enable it. Or you could just hit this proportional editing tool right here. And then to make it bigger, you just scroll with your middle mouse and then move it along the head. Move these over here to make it look more uniform. Move these over here. Move this back and then bring this down. So it should look like this or something like this. 
add another loop pad or two right here and then if you if your character has a collar then you could just select these vertices up here extrude them up extrude them out with Z X I mean S and Z pull these up then just do S to scale and Z and then zero to make it all flat. Now with proportional editing, go into X ray mode, enable proportional editing, and then move these back. And then move these forward. Move these out. Move these up. Just to make sure it looks like what you want it to look like. Now after that, you shade it smooth. And bring this up. You can bring this up. Without motion editing. And then you can bring it down. Like that. And then bring this part down. Bring this part down. Bring this part down. Move it. G, hit G and G again to slide vertices and then move these out, G to move, move these out and then go to this little triangle right here, go to normal, auto smooth, enable auto smooth and then there. Now you go. Now I like to have a back cap on. It's per. It's not anything that you need, but it just makes it look better in Blender. This will not transfer into Roblox. Enable the brow map cap. Now apply the mirror modifier. Add a loop cut right here, and make this come out a little bit like that. Add a loop cut right here, add a loop cut right there. Bring this part with proportional editing, go in X-ray mode, select these two vertices, and then move this part down with proportional editing. Now, get these vertices. You can edge select, I mean loop select with Alt, Shift, and click one vertice. So, like that one will still work with this one. Now, Turn off proportional editing and extrude it down. You can make this a little bit bigger. And then auto smooth. Turn that up. You can move this out a little bit more. And then after that, you can add a solidify modifier. And then increase the thickness. And then after all that, you you hit Shift A, apply all transformations, and that will help with a lot of bugs if you have some. Scale this in a little bit more. Now, if you want a zipper or something like that, you can go to here, go to Tab, Edit Mode, and salute this with Alt Shift and then select the vertices and then control B to bevel like that and then you can just right click and then hit separate and hit selection and that will get the part you selected separated now you could adjust this a little bit so you can bring these parts out like that but it doesn't need any adjustment in my opinion. So that's basically the basics on how to make this the torso part. Now how you make the arms. Select the arm. Du shift D to duplicate and then right click to put it in this normal position. Go to here, set origin. Right click, set origin. Origin to geometry. Since the minimum modifier kind of broke up, then just 
hit the eyedropper on the bare object and select the torso. Now you can scale it up and then auto smooth turn that up. Go to the materials and then no, not materials. Go into edit mode and then you can just keep on adding wrinkles like this. Adding loop cuts and then just rotating them and then just scale them out. Now do the same thing with the lower part. So, origin geometry, mirror object, turn up the auto smooth, add a loop cut, bring it down, rotate it, scale it up, scale this part down, scale this part up. It's all random, make sure it doesn't look that it shouldn't be like this. It should be all random. So, that's basically it for the arms. Low poly arms. So, if you want, you could texture these, which will come up in a later part of this series. So, that's basically it for the arms. You could go into front view. And then select the bottom vertices, delete them, and then scale these down. Scale these up a little bit more, like that. Now, for the legs, you just do the same thing. So, origin geometry, scale them up, and then add loop, uh, turn on auto smooth. And then add loop cuts and then rotate them, scale them. And then do it for the lower part. So, just like this. And then delete the lower part and extrude it down so like that if you want you can bring this down a little bit more like that so it doesn't show the lower torso now if you want you could go into these arms and then add go and loop select this part right click and then mark sharp on both of these so it's so like that you can do it on the jacket thing right there so it's like that now you can do many things with this doesn't need it to be exactly like this but that's basically it on how you make clothing if you have any questions leave them in the comments thank you guys for watching peace